small streets but please don't vlog and drive welcome back to happy blonde today i decided to not upload a choreography mainly because uh, june is going to be a very busy month for me and by the time this vlog is up i'm gonna be really close to my disney world trip and i am going to perform there a lot so I wanted to basically, instead of showing you guys a choreography, I wanted to show you guys my dancer side. I know that all of you know that I am, ooh, the sun. I know that all of you know that I am a dancer and that I've been a dancer for so many years, but not many of you really know everything that I've done as a dancer, how, how trained I am, just, that dancer side of me, I feel like I've exposed that princess side of me so much. And that dancer side is basically what started this channel, but I've kind of pushed it a little bit to the edge. Um, I did upload a video on it the first year that I, I think it was even in the first like six months that I created this channel. But obviously so many things have changed. I've changed, my performance has changed. So yeah, I wanted to start this video. So right now I am going to go to a dance recital. I'm not actually performing. Um, I'm helping out my mom. I'm gonna be a runner at the event. Um, for everybody who doesn't know, a runner is basically that person uh, backstage that is just helping to get uh, just the groups in and organize everything. Uh, is basically the person that responds to the regent of scene, which is the person that is controlling the rundown. So I'm gonna be a runner, but I am going to take you to this place because this is probably the stage where I've performed the most at. It is, it is basically where I've had most of my dance performances and it is going to be with the teacher that started all of my career. So let's get popping. Like I mentioned, this is the stage that I've probably performed the most at, and it does give me feels every single time I'm near it, but it just reminds me of how far I've come. And before these students actually did all these recitals, I started on harder stuff. That is me, my first ever dance competition. That is how I started over at HB Dance Factory. Let me bring you guys a little closer, because obviously, due to the bad quality, you can't tell, but there is six-year-old me. Everyone else was at least five years older than me, but this is how I started dancing. In dance competitions that were really intense throughout all of Puerto Rico. And Peter Pan was the first piece that I ever performed at. And that's how it was for the longest time. I was the smallest one in the group, learning and performing all of these dance steps and genres way before of my time. I was the dummy for lifts whenever they were trying things out. Everyone was basically my babysitter. I grew up in that family. And that family gave me a home, which was dancing on stages. I loved the adrenaline and the attention that it gave me. Obviously, I was a child. And everybody asked me where I got the love from. Well, that woman dressed in purple in that picture is my mother. She was always a performer and she passed it down to me and in the blink of an eye I was performing at my school at talent shows and then I became my school's very first cheerleading captain. Suddenly I started becoming a choreographer and saw the magic of putting together pieces and then seeing them come to life on stage seeing my creations come to life and how people loved it and how I discovered that dancing is more than just attention. And life took me different places, but I always went back to dancing. I wanted to do so much more with my talent, so I created my YouTube channel. So on July 11th of 2017, I put up my first choreography, which was Move Your Body from Sia. 
I remember it took me three hours to film. It was so exhausting, but the effort was absolutely worth it. I fell madly in love with the piece and the ability to create all these pieces designed by me. And throughout the years, I discovered different styles. I recreated pieces from famous artists that they had done before me and I gave them my own twist. I've performed in different and various locations in different countries. I have expressed my own life and feelings in my own pieces and I am very lucky to have friends that always say yes to performing with me every now and again, especially now with my new princess choreographies which I am just madly in love with. Thanks to this channel, I fell madly in love with two things. Number one, ironically, is ballet. I love performing ballet. And the second one is the art of creating stories through performance art. Storytelling is my life. Every time I perform, I feel like I can be anyone. I can bring a character to life through movement. I can choose to be attractive in one moment and then a very powerful female in the next. I can be magical and majestic, playful and optimistic. And most of all, I can share my love with the world. So thank you so much for being a part of this wonderful journey.